How do we find a way to love beyond the boundaries of my own personal opinion? Now, for me, that requires a deep faith and a spiritual practice that opens us to that deeper truth. And I like to say that, I mean, this is one, a little spiritual insight that I had a few years ago, but it, it applies here. When I saw those pictures of serving the soup in the soup lines, if we really know we are one in the body of Christ, then we know we're serving each other in that action. We're serving God. And how hard I work to stifle my imagination so I don't have those thoughts because those thoughts have consequences. And I like an orderly existence. I like lobbying on Capitol Hill. I like going on a bus. I like having it contained. But I think what Dorothy Day teaches us is fidelity is not necessarily contained in the popular, in the well-liked, or in the predictability of one's existence. So I'm, uh, I understand from Martin, I'm one of the few folks that think Dorothy Day should not be canonized. I think she shouldn't be canonized, not because she wasn't a saint, I think she shouldn't be canonized because a number of those folks on the screen that wanted to advocate for that really want to tame her. They want to set her apart. Jim Wallace said it well, you know, she'd never want to be called a saint. But they want to set her apart and on a pedestal and we can say, oh, wow, she was a saint. Well, that explains everything. When really what I think Dorothy Day is about is challenging us to stir up our lives, to open our hearts to a radical acceptance and love for all those that we would even want to leave out. And I have to confess, it's easier for me sometimes to respond to the very poor, marginalize the homeless than to certain politicians. And what I know, though, from my faith is that we're called to receive them all even when I disagree with them. <laughs>